Hi everyone and thanks for joining me aboard the Goat Tote. The Goat Tote is our repurposed school bus. It is now a tiny home slash homestead because in the back of the back 60% is a barn. Uh, I travel with goats. We go all around Rhode Island from May to Columbus Day and we clear land for people. That's what the goats do. I don't do much of the clearing, that's the goat. On the front of the goat tote, I live with four goats year-round, Holly, Liberty, Sunny, and Twee. Um, the original plan when the front was designed was just to have Holly and Liberty, but along the way we picked up Sunny and Twee as front riders and then they just stayed. <laughs> um, so there's plenty of room and I just have to make some more storage so I can gain my bed back and then uh, we'll all have a, a big bed to sleep in. But for now, Sunny and Twee seem to take up the bed, so Holly sleeps sometimes with them, sometimes on the floor, depending on the temperature, and Liberty and I take the seat beds at the table. One of them was built for her, one of them was built for a guest, but I like it because it's next to the door and we keep cool. It has been really hot here. We're out in Foster, Rhode Island right now. Um, it has been extremely hot, even 10 o'clock at night, it's still 85 degrees inside of the goat tote. The goats are actually out eating right now. They don't eat as much during the day when it's this hot, so they will stay out until midnight, 1 o'clock, sometimes 2 o'clock, and then they go to sleep for a few hours and get back up at 5.30. The noises that you may be hearing in the background are Twee and Sunny. They're laying down, digesting, and they they're in a very relaxed state and they're moaning. <laughs> um, so excuse the background noises. When we're not on the road, we stop back at the, at the farm slash sanctuary, which is the Sanctuary of Hope in Hope, Rhode Island. Um, there we can hang out with our friends. Uh, Goat Team 1 typically goes back and hangs out overnight with the main herd and that's about 50 goats and they just hang out and I'm sure talk about where they've been. Some of the goats are on goat team one, some are on goat team two and other goats just don't go out. They don't either don't want to goat scape anymore or they have injuries or anything, any number of health issues that might keep them from going. They stay at the farm full time and have a big area to roam around and do whatever they would like at the farm. Speaking of the farm, news at the farm is we, this past Saturday, we welcomed Oscar, the potbelly pig. He is super special. He's a big, lovable potbelly pig, but he was also our other resident potbelly pig's old roommate. So Daisy and Oscar have been reunited, and now they're back in the same pen again, which was pretty exciting news. But also on Saturday, especially for those of you who have been following Scooby Moo's story. Um, I met Scooby for the first time, and Scooby Moo is a happy, healthy baby cow. Uh, he's adorable. I'll be posting more pictures as I get them. He's being fostered by our friend Marsha. She's the one who arranged saving Scooby. Um, she's taking incredible care of him. Uh, she wipes him down frequently with a damp rag to simulate his mother licking him because he never knew a mom so she figures he should know what it would be like to have a, a mom and he seems very happy and doing exactly what a baby cow should be doing playing and sleeping. If you'd like to see a lot more photos of the goats especially portraits descriptions of the goats and some very cool short stories about how goats came to us um, Please check out our Patreon. We have levels from $1 up to sponsorships of $50. On the Goat Tote, we supply a good portion of the income, but it's really only about 60 to 70% of the income that it takes to feed all of the animals on the farm. All of the proceeds from the Patreon go towards the Herd of Hope and helping support the animals and feed them. So please, if you'd like to check out the uh, check out some goat portraits and read some short stories, please go to our Patreon, and it'll be listed in the link below. And that is uh, Patreon forward slash Sanctuary of Hope. 
So again, thank you for considering uh, becoming a Patreon, and I hope you enjoy the following slideshow. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh.